Now, we told you when we first introduced meteorologist Alex Forbes that he's a bulldog. No, not a Georgia dog, a Mississippi State bulldog, as he likes to say, the better of the two. Eh, Frank, it stung a little bit there, didn't it? Tonight, their baseball team is playing the final game of the College World Series, and as it turns out, the weather could play a part in their win or loss in an unexpected way. Alex breaks it down for us. There you go. Baseball has long been billed as America's favorite pastime. Whether it's the Macon Bacon, the Atlanta Braves, or my Mississippi State Bulldogs, weather affects every single baseball game. And it's not just in the ways that you might normally think of, like the sun getting in the outfielder's eyes, perhaps a scattered storm moving over the area, fog causing some issues, or perhaps warmer temperatures making it just unbearable out there on the baseball field. There's one more factor that combines moisture in the atmosphere and the temperature, and that's air density. Air density affects how far the ball will travel. So when it's warm and humid, the ball will actually go further than if it was hit with the same force in a cooler and drier environment. Let's take a look at an example. If the ball is hit in Macon with higher humidity and a low elevation, the ball is going to travel further than if it was hit at the same exact force in Denver with lower humidity and a higher elevation. In fact, a mile high there in Denver. Now, why is this all relevant? Well, my Mississippi State Bulldogs are playing in the College World Series tonight. The weather's going to be a lot like how it is in the southeast. Temperatures in the 80s cooling off in the 70s with dew points roughly in the 60s. So in Omaha, Nebraska, the ball's not going to travel quite as far as it would here in the southeast United States, but hopefully just far enough to bring Mississippi State a national title. Mississippi State takes on Vanderbilt tonight at 7 for the title. I'm sure Alex is going to be watching. And, of course, Frank, I did my schooling through Mississippi State, so I'm a dog there, but also root on the Georgia dog, so that makes me a dueling dog. A double dog. Double dog. Mm, a double dog dairy. Mm, yes. there you go. Thank you, sir. You <laughs>